Greetings and welcome to another bead haul for Odin's bead haul. It's that time of the month again, and I have for you another beater box unboxing. This one was spring themed, and it was cute. When I opened the box, it had like this green tissue paper underneath it, so it kind of looked like a flower. And it was cute, because I think this theme was like April showers, May flowers, something like that. I don't know. Something of that regard. It was cute and springy, and yes. But, yes, like I mentioned, this is the beater box. I have purchased a smidgen size, so this is the smallest of the three sizes that we have. If you are interested in yourself in the beater box, I will leave links down below so you should totally check it out because it's cool. A little bit more of a personalized beater subscription box, which I think is rather nifty. And sadly, I do not have a design from the last month's box contents because I am a lazy piece of shit that didn't get to it. So, maybe next time, or maybe I'll post something on our Facebook group, which you should join our Facebook group if you have not already. But anyway, enough teasing of the delightfully purple object. Let us get in here. I don't remember what my bead selection choices were this time. I think I picked check and seed beads. I don't remember. I, yeah. Ooh, we got some fun stuff. We have the delightful box. This is from, ooh, this is so cute. Last month, let's see, I, ha I actually still have it. Last month was the Alice in Wonderland themed one, so we got another one this time. But, that is the card of information if you need to do more information. And, let us get into some strands. Ooh, we got some silkies. I have been seeing a lot of patterns lately demanding silkies, which is cool because I don't have them yet. So maybe I will try my hand at them, and they're Black AB. Jet AB? Black AB. Jet AB. Jet Azuro. I apologize. I am totally fucking wrong, but... Yes, that is what we've got. We have a strand of bell. Whoa, we have a huge strand of bells. And whoop! My leaves of bell caps. These are really pretty. And looks like an iris. we got some, actually, quite a big metallic mix here. That's cute. Got some hematites, we got some irises here, we got some bronzes. Those are some colors that I can use. And yeah, they'd be good for some uh, bead caps, I think. Well, I kind of like the finish on that one, it's got like a patina effect. Oh, and we have a strand of a green blend. Yeah. Those are pretty. And a pile of leaves! We have these leaves, oops. In here, we have a huge strand of leaves, actually. Check pressed leaves in a silver. So those are cute to add to a little dangly, fringy bit. That is nifty. And now we have, oh, do oh, ooh. We have, I'm seeing a lot of caps. Which is cool, because I just started getting into those. Ooh, we have. Several tubes. We have Chaos in this really pretty lilac slash rose. It's a very pastel-y, pinky purple, just like the name describes. These are the two whole triangles that goes upward, because the orientation of these things matter. Unlike the tango beads, which goes to the side. We have another Chaos. Ooh, I like this color. Chaos in... Um, yeah. Light gray silver. I have a duo that matches this, actually. I just bought. So that's another Chaos. We have some more two-hole triangles. Ooh, that's a pretty blue. I actually think I might have one of these in my collection, which is good, because... Oh, no, it's polychrome. Polychrome blue, so I don't have that one, I think. That is pretty. More two-hole triangles. I really need to get into those. And then we have another two-hole triangle. And I think I got this last month, which is kind of cool. Uh, Irish green. Yeah, I think I got this last month. Which is cool, because I can always use them in chains and stuff. And finally, for the tubes, we have Miyuki Sharp Triangles. Ooh, patina iris. Matte patina iris. That is a really pretty color. I don't know if you can see this. That is a really pretty finish. And I actually have one tube of triangles that looks similar to this. I don't think it has the 
bronzy edges to it. This is really pretty. Yes, so, and now we have the delightful box. Let's see what's inside. We have a cat running around in the background as well. I apologize if you hear banging or crashing or whatever. He is just having fun. Ooh. Oh, look at what we got pretty things in here. Ooh. Got a lamp pork pendant in here. That's really pretty. That is super shiny, actually. That's cool. That is pretty. Ooh, we got a clasp, it looks like. Is that a clasp? Oh, look at that box clasp. Oh, that is so pretty. Holy crap. Oh, I like that. I'm going to have to save that for something super special because, holy crap, yeah, this is one of those tabbed clasps that you push, maybe, and then pull somewhere. Oh, it's the other side. The other side is the pulley tab that locks. So, eh, eh maybe? I don't know how it works. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. That's actually a really nice clasp, too. It's very sturdy. Because I've bought some box clasps before myself that uh, weren't the greatest of quality, but this one looks freaking hefty. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so pretty. And then finally, we have a couple of crystal daisies? Flowers? They're flowers of some shape. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but I have seen these crystals before, and they're very pretty. Sparkly pendants! Oh. Awesome, so you can totally put those in. There's like earrings. Nice little earring pair with that. So, that is this month's beater box delight. We got a shit ton of caps. That's awesome. But yes, I'm excited. I have a bunch of delightful little things to play around with. And yes, yeah, so again, this is the beater box if you're interested in purchasing your own or want to try out some other things. I'll leave links down below. I don't know what next month's theme is off the top of my head. I probably looked at it, but just totally forgot because that's just what I do. But anyway, all pertinent links will be down below. Do you guys have your own subscription to Beater Box? What do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comments as well. And I think that will do it from me. Be sure to like up this video and subscribe if you want to see more bullshit from me. Be sure to check out my other beating adventures through Skillshare, through my lessons here right on YouTube, and other beat halls. All pertinent links will be everywhere, down below or at the eye or whatever, usual places. Yes. So, thank you guys so much for joining me, and of course, if there's anything I need to be trying out right now, feel free to let me know down below, and I will see you next time.